Let's go to Manuel in Melbourne. You're on News 96.5. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Um, hey. I entered into a – how are you doing? Good. Um, and actually, I've been listening to your show for quite a while. Thank you. However, I entered into a real estate contract with a, um, a, a builder um, that's nationwide builder. Um, and uh, I signed a contract and put a $10,000 deposit down All right. on a home – and I was basically putting the deposit down on the structure. So um, part of the part of the contract then is is I have to go to their design center and I have to pick out um, the accoutrements for the inside of the house. And so I essentially entered into a contract for the bones of the house without knowing exactly what the final price was going to be. All right. So now when I go to the design center and I see what the prices are of the things that they're doing to make the home at least comparable to what I have now, it just blows the budget completely out of the water. Yeah. My question, my question is, how long do I have to back out of this contract and uh, a, a qualifier to go along with that? They have not even put the infrastructure in for the roads yet. All right. So there is no so permitting been done. Or man, manual. First of all, there is yes. nothing within the Florida statutes that automatically gives you some right of rescission at, during a number of days. There's nothing in the con right. the, con the, the Florida law that's going to help you here. If you have okay. some kind of out in this contract, it is going to be within that contract somewhere. Now, Manuel, um, I have looked at plenty of new construction contracts over the years, and guess what? They are all written for the benefit of your builder developer, not for you. So, Manuel, Correct. without even looking at your contract, I'm going to say there's a good chance you're not getting your $10,000 back. But if this is important ah. to you, the only way for you to know is to sit down with an attorney ASAP and see if there's right. a way out of this contract. Typically, right. the I noticed, go ahead. I noticed that within the contract, um, they actually had a clause that says you wouldn't take them to court, that uh, any disputes would be handled via arbitration. Well, that's not good either, Manuel. So, again, it's all written for their benefit, not for yours. Now, Manuel, you've right. looked at that contract. Is there anything in there that you think off the top of your head may be a way for you to get out of this thing? Um, no, there's really nothing spelled out. It's all very ambiguous. So, um, well, I, uh, it's not ambiguous, Manuel, because how long is that contract? 10, 15, 20 pages? Uh, 10. Oh, okay. So, Manuel, um, I, I hear you about the the finishes on your house, but I think that everything in there has a budget in it, okay? Now, they may have yes. budgeted for mica counters, and you may want marble counters, but that's up to you, Manuel. you got a contract that if you don't like the, if you don't want to pay for marble candles, uh, marble uh, countertops, they will be glad to build you for mica countertops. Sure. So I'm so sorry okay. about that, Manuel. Just out of curiosity, when you went to the sales, was there a heavy sales pitch put on you? I mean, were you caught up in the emotion of the minute, you might say? Oh, without a doubt. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right. So there's a little warning for all you people out there. When you get in these new home sales offices, man, they know how to put the pressure on and get you to sign a contract right then and there. So be very careful about that and really think through yes. it. All right. Good luck to you, Manuel. Correct. All right. There's no excuse. All right, I'm so sorry we cut you off there, Manuel. But uh, thank you for calling us, and the best of luck to you. And I do recommend if you want to get out and maybe get your $10,000 back, you need to let an attorney look at it ASAP for yourself.